Hey everybody, what's up? We are on day five of our five day fat burning challenge. How's it going? If you haven't met yet, my name is Adam Scheibe. I'm the creator of transformationcoach.me and I am glad to have you here. All right, the last four days uh, we have been burning some fat. I've been throwing out little 10 minute challenges each day. My goal was to provide you with a different exercise interval each day, give you a little bit of transformation education, get some more tools in that transformation toolbox that you can use to get better results. That is what I'm all about. Welcome everybody, welcome Joanne, welcome Nick on the live cast here. Uh, as you guys join, uh, if you have any questions, post them in the comments. Uh, I'm fairly skilled at seeing the comments pop up. Sometimes they go by too fast and I miss them, but I'll, I'll follow back up uh, once I get done with the live show. I will post the replay immediately afterwards, or pretty, pretty close to immediately, as fast as I can get her going. Uh, it will be posted on the page here. You can leave comments. If you have questions, uh, let me know how the workouts are going. I've got a pretty tough challenge for you today. I got, got something a little special cooked up. I'm like, how could it get better than burpees on day four? Which, by the way, we had some pretty serious numbers posted on the, uh, the every minute on the minute challenge I put up there. Some people got pretty deep into that. I know uh, my girl Amy Marie hit all 12 rounds perfectly, so that was awesome. I was very impressed by that. Um, Wendy says she's sad that this is the last day. Me too, but you know we're going to do more challenges, so it, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, day five is on. Welcome to everybody that's on the live show again. All right, I think I've done enough intro. We've got people on the show. Let's do this. The, uh, the goal of today is we're going to put a capper on the challenge. And I want you to really uh, you know, just get a little bit outside of your comfort zone as far as the pace. All right, because it's 10 minutes. I got a 10 minute challenge. And I want you to see what you've got. I know you're probably a little bit sore from the other days, uh, but we're going to push through that. Maybe do a little warm up beforehand. Make sure that your, you know, your blood's pumping a little bit and then dive into this one. This is an, a, uh, as many rounds as possible. AMRAP, A-M-R-A-P, uh, 10 minute AMRAP, as many rounds as possible. So I'm gonna give you a series of exercises and I want to see how many rounds you can get through in 10 minutes. All right, all right, cool. Uh, so we're gonna cover the exercises first. I've got one at the end that you're gonna love. You're gonna love, you're gonna, you guys are gonna hate me and love me at the same time. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait. I get excited. This is what I sit around and I just think about, like, how can I really make them love me and hate me at the same time, right? <laughs> so uh, we're going to dive in. I've got five exercises I'm going to show you, and we'll go through those first, and then I'll show you the, the, uh, the big dry erase board, and that will give you a clear vision of what you are trying to accomplish. So I'm going to hook up into the, uh, the, the kickstand here, and let's go over the workout. So first movement is a push-up. You're gonna do five push-ups. All right, there we go, get the camera going. Five push-ups, let's talk about push-up technique. Uh, we've done a few push-ups already, but I always like to review. As you do push-ups, elbows track down and back, not straight out to the side like this. If you feel your neck get all bunched up, if you really feel your neck tense up or ache during push-ups, that means you're elevating your traps, you're shrugging your shoulders, instead of tracking low like this. It doesn't have to be tight to the body, but the elbows, there should be a definite slope from the elbow to the shoulder. It should not be parallel. So, full push-ups, five reps. We're gonna look like this. We can do knee push-ups, keeping the hips nice and low, abs tight. We're not gonna go here, and we're not gonna go here, right? Good full range there. Uh, five push-ups. We had someone ask about wall push-ups. I'm good with wall push-ups as long as you uh, can still keep those elbows tracking back. When people do wall push-ups, they get those elbows up not real high instead of doing this. So your range of motion is going to be a little bit less. You can do a couch push-up, uh, any sort of, if you have a sturdy box or a chair, you can lean into that. All of those things would work. Uh, I've done all those variations. A lot of you guys know I had reconstructive surgery. I, I blew up my chest in an obstacle course of race about nine months ago. So I've done lots of different push-up variations. I liked doing a push-up off of a step. Uh, that felt pretty good as I built back up into full range push-ups. All right, five push-ups, five squats, five squats, body weight squats, low impact, uh, digging in with our heels again, pushing the hips back, squatting to full range and driving up. You'll notice I get a little external knee drive, so my knees are going out this way and they're not bouncing in. 
If you guys ever get a chance, just uh, check your squat form, especially females, because the female knee is a little bit different than the, the male knee, and they tend to have a weakness in the front area. That's why you see a lot of females uh, athletes hurt their ACL. A lot of ACL tears and sprains. So watch this. As you squat and you come back up, you don't want to get that knee bounced in, all right? So it should look like this and not that, all right? So slight difference, just a little extra bonus tip. Five squats. Then you're going to do 20 mountain climbers. 20 mountain climbers, all right? Uh, I'll show you a few alternates on this one. You can go long arms or elbows. I'm going to go long arms. There we go. And you're going to do a jog step, so it'll be one, two, three, four, 20 total. You can double plant, one, two, or you can step these out. So you go one, two, three. Again, you can go off elbows there. Uh, you can do high knees as an alternate there. If you don't want to get on the ground, you do one, two, three, high knees that way. 20 total reps. Then we're doing five jump squats. So this is a higher impact. Uh, a good alternate would just be doing another five squats uh, like we talked about a second ago. So a jump squat, we're going to try to elevate a little bit and land soft. The landing on the jump squat is super important. So we're going to squat, we're going to jump and land soft right into that next squat. What I don't want you to do is land with a stiff leg like this, like stiff knees. Boom. Oh, we don't want that. We're going to squat, land soft, Land soft, land soft. All right, which would be nice, soft landing. Five jump squats. Now, the last thing. You guys ready for this? I call this a gator walk. So you need a, one prop, two props. You need some sort of a slick surface. So you, if you have wood or a, a tile surface or whatever, I'm not real good on my, my, my flooring, <laughs> but, uh, and you need a towel. So I've got a towel over here. I'm gonna show you what a gator walk looks like. I think you guys can see this. So I've got my feet on this towel. I'm gonna to have toes on the towel, I'm gonna to be in a plank position. And I'm gonna gator walk towards you, I'm sliding. All right, then you can go backwards. I'm gonna show you a couple different angles here. All right, I'll show you how it looks like this way, with my butt going right at you. Going this way, that's a gator walk. So that, it's super tough on your abs and your shoulders. You keep long arms, I like hands like this and not like this, and you're stepping with your arms like this, with a good long locked out arm. It's pretty tough, you're gonna feel your abs. A lot of you that's gonna be really tough. So you could uh, do a plank and hold for 20 seconds, or just skip that one. If you have any elbow, wrist, or shoulder issues, I would just skip that one, or just hold a plank off of elbows. So that is the 10 minute AMRAP. Let me show you this here. Uh, okay, I'm gonna flip the camera. Here we go. 10 minute, as many rounds as possible. Five push ups, five squats, 20 mountain climbers, five jump squats, 20 seconds of the gator walk. It's awesome. All right, so, uh, one more big screenshot there for you. There we go. All right, so this one's gonna be tough, right? It's gonna be a tough challenge. As many rounds as possible. This is a great one to use as kind of a periodic test. So you could do this now, maybe do it once a week, once every other week, see how many rounds you can get through, and then try to beat that the next time. So it might be, Oh, I got through three rounds and then through 10 mountain climbers. Write that down and then set that as a benchmark for the next time that you do it. That's what these AMRAPs are really good for. It's kind of a, a nice uh, little test of how your overall fitness is going. So this will be a nice, well-rounded upper body, lower body, cardio, and core all working together. It's a nice, nice challenge, right? So I wanted to end on a good, tough note with you on day number five of the five-day fat burning challenge. A couple quick notes. Uh, if you guys are watching this for the first time, we are archiving all of the challenge videos. If you're watching the replay, there'll be a little learn more button. You can click on that. Uh, if you're watching live, just wait for the replay and it will pop up momentarily. So you can get in on the archive. 
I'm going to toss up some bonuses. I'm going to throw a, a cookbook up on there today. And uh, we also have our previous challenge that we did, our Hello Abs five-day challenge. So and as we put more challenges into this, I'm committed to doing at least one a month. We'll have more and more on the archive, so you can just go through them and use them as needed so that you have uh, a little atom in your pocket and you can uh, just use that for motivation and extra workouts as needed. So it's a pretty cool little feature. Also, uh, you guys need to join the Defeat the Cheat Facebook group. It's a free uh, support group. Just go to www.defeatthecheat.com and you can request to join. Uh, it's a rowdy group. We're all doing the challenge together. That's where the kind of the, the hub of the conversation is with uh, the, each video that we do. As you do the workouts, let me know how it goes. I want you to leave a comment and let me know how many rounds you get through or if you need alternates or anything like that. Uh, and we are doing another giveaway today. Let me announce the winners from yesterday's video. My, uh, my main man, Mark Henson, has just wrote a really, really good book called Ordinary Superpowers, and he's giving them away. He's in my boot camp right now, so he's like, hey, let's give away some books. Uh, yesterday's winners were Judy S., Michelle B., and Darcy M. All right, I've already sent each of you a little message to uh, get you connected with Mark so we can get you a free copy of Ordinary Superpowers, and you're going to love it. It's a really, really good book. I'm going to get Mark on my podcast. There we go. Uh, I'm going to get Mark on the podcast here, uh, hopefully in a couple of weeks, and you'll get to hear all about those Ordinary Superpowers and how you can find yours. Uh, last thing, we're going to give away three more copies of the book with this video. Uh, if you share this video, we're doing a sharing is caring contest with this one. Um, if you share the video, uh, I'll, I'm going to randomly pick three people from the sharing pool and I'll get in touch with you tomorrow and we'll get you hooked up with Mark and get you a free book. So uh, three people on that again. So we've given away, uh, we'll give away a total of nine books. That's pretty cool. So thanks to Mark and uh, he's a good dude. You should check his stuff out for sure. And I think that's it. I think that's it, guys. Super proud of you. This has been a fun little challenge. A lot of high energy coming in. A lot of great feedback on the workouts. I'm glad you guys are liking it. Uh, I'm really, really proud of you. These have been tough. All right, these have been tough. If you have any ideas or requests for our next challenge, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm always open to suggestion. And uh, if we don't get it on the next one, I'm keeping a uh, kind of a Rolodex of all the, the challenge ideas. And uh, sometimes we can combine things or tweak things a little bit and to make them a little bit different. So we've got a nice little stock of potential challenges, but I'm always looking to add more. So let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you or send me a message. Whatever it takes, let's get connected and let me help you out the best that I can. I think that's it for today, guys. I appreciate you. Uh, we'll be back next month for another challenge. And in the meantime, let's uh, connect on the Defeat the Cheat group at www.defeatthecheat.com. I will see you guys soon. Enjoy the challenge today. Work hard. Push yourself outside of that comfort zone a little bit and let me know how it goes. We will see you in the comments.